Hey guys, it's Angelique Vestila and today I'm going to be talking about why people fail at the digital nomad lifestyle. Now, I've been considered, I guess, a digital nomad since May 2019. So I'm relatively new to this, but honestly, I've been working online since 2016. And so I know a little bit about it and honestly, what needs to go into becoming a successful digital nomad and whatever a digital nomad means it's honestly just like trying to make a living online and trying to find a stream of income that can kind of make you feel like you can be nomadic while you are working and making a stream of income either passively or just working anywhere in the world and so I've been able to do that since May 2019 before that I was still in university and working online during then as well and slowly building the foundation of the business that I'm doing now I just wanted to share with you guys a little bit about why people fail at that lifestyle and that you need to actually think about what it takes to become a remote worker and a location independent anything along that nature because honestly a lot of people think this digital nomad lifestyle is all like sunshine and rainbows and butterflies but there's a lot of things that need to go on in the back end to actually make this lifestyle work so just going into it the number one reason people fail at this lifestyle is honestly lack of discipline because there's no nine to five schedule it is really easy for some people to not work at all because they don't have to necessarily if you're not disciplined enough in knowing what the end goal is and what you want to achieve and how you're gonna get there then not being disciplined won't actually get you to that end goal a lot of people say this whole being successful working online relates to luck but honestly there is a lot of hard work and discipline that needs to go into it you have to learn how to say no to the weekend trip with your friends if you actually need to get something done Done. you have to learn which times of the days you're most productive and oftentimes honestly I think in the beginning you even work longer than a normal nine-to-five because it takes hard work and it takes time and especially when you're starting off there's a lot of sacrifices you need to make and so lack of discipline is probably the number one reason why people fail at this lifestyle because it's so easy to get distracted obviously you're traveling you're meeting new people all the time there's a lot of distractions going on if you don't have the discipline to actually sit in a room a co-working space in a cafe and actually push out work to the best of your ability then it'll be really really hard to actually get your business growing into that next step that's the number one reason and probably the main reason why people aren't successful in this lifestyle people who are disciplined are able to say no to those distractions and are able to go out on the weekends if they're able to really be disciplined during the weekdays and so just finding that balance is honestly the, the most important thing before going into it but that's like the number one thing the second thing is that you have to be willing to sacrifice and a lot of people don't sacrifice it because it's so easy like I said before to be distracted by what's going on around you you're meeting new people you're in a cool country you want to explore you feel like you're wasting your time because you're in a cool country and you're not exploring it like there's so many times where like obviously I'm in Chiang Mai right now and like the first few months all I was doing was working and people would ask me if I went to this thing and did this and did that and went to this town just outside Chiang Mai and like for the first honestly six months of being here I barely did anything because I was working a lot obviously it's paying off slowly but surely now but there were a lot of things that I missed out on because I was working and I think a lot of people don't make those sacrifices they get tempted and have FOMO when someone invites them to a weekend trip and then once you kind of fall into that pattern and routine of always saying yes to doing all these things then it kind of pulls you out of oh what was I actually working on when you try to revisit it and then it takes time to then get back into the rhythm of what you're actually working on so just not sacrificing is another reason people fail at this digital nomad lifestyle because you have to sacrifice a lot and especially at the beginning especially when you're starting off it, it takes time to get there and a lot of people don't expect that or don't want to make those sacrifices to get to that end goal so just know that if you are thinking about going down the digital nomadic lifestyle path then you're gonna have to sacrifice a lot you're gonna have to sacrifice the traveling and the going out 
often and it's okay especially at the beginning and then once you get to a point where you are able to automate things and then hire out at that point then you'll be able to kind of explore more but at the beginning especially sacrifice is really hard to do but it's necessary to do another reason people fail at this lifestyle is because they want it to be a get rich quick scheme and honestly anything you do that's building your own business being a digital nomad isn't a get rich quick scheme it's a you're gonna work your butt off for the next year or two maybe five years or ten years and once you kind of get things automated and an understanding of the overall grand picture that you want to create then you'll be able to slowly figure out what it is you want to do and how you're gonna get there and that takes time a lot of people are like chase your passions and as long as you love what you do you'll find a way you know but honestly sometimes chasing your passions can get you in trouble so I think initially the main focus you need to focus on is figuring out what thing can make you money at first and then once you start making money then you could start then using that money to fund different sorts of passion projects but initially everything takes time and finding that one thing that actually gives you a stream of income will take time odds are it won't take a year it'll take maybe longer than that some people it takes a few months some people it takes a few years but it takes time but as long as you're going out and actually learning and finding mentors and finding guidance to figure out ways that you could actually make those different streams of income then that's when you start to see the grand picture in a clearer way so things take time and I think a lot of people don't realize that it takes a lot of time to not just in a day but overall time to get to a point where you're making income it took me about seven months to see my first income stream coming in and that took quite a while the first six months though I was living on my savings and was just really working on how I could build myself and my brand and how I could present myself to clients and figuring out how to do that obviously takes time and it took a lot of effort for me to conceptually understand until I was actually doing it that I was able to fully understand it but it takes time and so you can't expect to just be a digital nomad for a month and just hope that you'll be able to figure it out because it takes definitely longer than a month to kind of set up and understand the lifestyle and just see what works for you and a lot of times this lifestyle isn't for everyone a lot of people who like structure in their life it could be really hard yeah honestly those are the three main reasons I think people fail at this lifestyle is because of lack of discipline the unwillingness to sacrifice certain things and not understanding that building a business takes time so they give up too soon and honestly I think that's the three main reasons why people fail at this lifestyle of working online and making money online is because of those three things and as long as those three things are in check there's a lot of opportunity available being a digital nomad working online and anything in that nature because honestly I think we're still at the very beginning stages of what the online internet web era has and there's a lot of opportunity that still exists those are the three main reasons at least in my opinion why people fail at this lifestyle knowing that ahead of time before you even go down this route then it, it might be a good starting point of how you could get to that point so yeah that's all I have I hope you like this video and honestly like living this lifestyle can be really hard at times and at the same time it's really really rewarding if you kind of see all of the little things that you're doing kind of start paying off and that's what I'm starting to see slowly but surely in the past few months and it's really really exciting so as long as you have those three things in check I think honestly you could become really successful being a digital nomad and working online and making money online and that itself should be really exciting for you and yeah I hope you enjoyed this video and let me know what other reasons people might fail at this lifestyle there are a lot of reasons but those are the three top ones that kind of rolled off the top of my head but yeah I hope you guys like this video and I'll see you guys in the next one bye <laughs>